Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno for 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. While well, we're waiting for everybody to get on, once again, thank you so much today, you know, for allowing all your comments and your, and your private messages, everything you've been doing. I really enjoy just doing this uh, one month to win with you guys off the IamHero.com website. So if you have not, go to IamHero.com, and I will make the announcement that it will not be free for that much longer. I don't know when that'll be, but at least just get it on now. You know, just register now so you'll be able to get that. So IamHero.com, and you'll get the one month to win uh, entire one month video series. It's a video series, it's five videos per week with exercises, a one page uh, well written article to go with it, and the ebook. It's all for you. All you have to do is IamHero.com, and please share that. You, you know, you, you can share that with everybody. And, and even when we do these 15 minute fuels, make sure they get on the mission with that as well. Uh, also, if you listen to this on uh, podcast, SoundCloud, iTunes, or Stitcher, make sure you share it as well. Comment and send me any uh, any questions you have. I'll be happy to answer them for you. So, when you guys are coming on, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. Good to see you, Pete. Good to see you, Sean. And we're going to continue our series, which is day three of the I Am Hero. I purposely want to walk this through you with you guys because this is going to be uh, great. You guys are already winning, and we talked about the different principles. So. Number one principle was you got to get commit, committed. Day two was now taking 100% responsibility. Very important. It's huge. You see, each thing builds on the next. Now today, we're going to be talking about getting thought leaders or bringing up your strong room. Huge, huge important principle to winning in every area of my life. Because this takes away the fears and the fogs. Now I'll kind of go with it. So again, if you're watching this, please share it because this is going to be huge. What happens? We're talking about the one thing. Even though I know some of you guys are overachievers, you're looking to win at a bunch of things in life, but we want to make, a, you know, you basically want to become aware that you're winning on a daily basis. We want winning to become a habit. That's why we're doing this over a month period of time. And when winning's a habit, you get like instant, instant gratification, you know, and it builds this, this momentum. It's a wonderful place to be in. And then you train yourself to look for the wins. And so you have a much more optimistic a positive outlook and you will attract more of that. Now, because you're better, you're, you're just a happier person. You'll see the best in everything versus thinking about where you're failing. So now the third day, we're talking about thought leaders. And thought leaders helps us with the fears and the fogs. So for that one thing you want to get better in, is that eating better? Is that eating a certain type of way? Is it exercising, training a certain way? Is it building a business? Is it increasing your social media status? Is it writing a book? Is it uh, starting a relationship or improving your relationship? Is it be becoming a better parent? Whatever that thing is you want to do, your health, your finances, your family, your future, what I want you to do is that one thing now, automatically the, you got to ask yourself, how come you have not been as successful as you wanted to be in that one area up to this point? I hate to use something like, let's, I'll just use food. So how come you were not able to eat a certain way that you always wanted to. How come your marriage isn't the way it wanted to be, you wanted to be up until this point? How come you're not making the money you wanted to be making up until this point? You know, if you knew what to do, how come you weren't doing it? What was holding you back? What are the resources that were right there in front of you that you didn't utilize to the maximal capability to get to that goal? You find what I'm saying, to get to that win. So you have to ask yourself, okay, yes, you're committed to it, Okay, to yes, taking personal responsibility, but a lot of times when we set up for a goal, whether it be eating a certain way or doing that business or raising your capital or even better relationships, there's always those things that come into your mind which goes, am I doing it the right way? Or maybe I don't know exactly how to do it. You know, I know how to do this part of it, but I don't know how to do the whole part of it. And sometimes we don't want to ask for help. Right? It's like driving to a certain location and you want to go to the gas station to ask for the right directions because your GPS isn't working. So what we do is we try to figure it out on our own and time goes by, we procrastinate and then we just quit. So fears and fogs. Fears are one thing, right? You're afraid. I'm afraid to take the risk. I'm afraid to you know, take that risk for that new relationship or to increase my finances or ask for more for my value, right? So let's say you're charging one thing, you want to charge more, you want to increase your value. Or let's say you're afraid of uh, the pain it might be exercising, you know, and, and going through that or, or eating a certain way. So there's the fear, but then there's the fogs. Now the fogs are, 
you see the vision, but there's just certain bits that are foggy because you don't understand or you don't know how to address, right? So I always use the, the internet stuff, right? So I have the vision of getting this out there, but there's certain areas such as tech on the internet that I'm foggy in. So when we have a vision, the vision inspires you to pull you forward, but then as you're going, there's these foggy areas that you're like, ah, I don't know how to do that, and, and who's gonna help me do that? I, I don't have any help doing this, and then even though you're taking personal responsibility, you just quit, and you, and you, you drive yourself crazy. So this is where you write down your fears and fogs, right? We talked about that. When you write down your fears and you write down the fogs or the things that you think are in your way or the obstacle of reaching that goal, you write it down because when you write it down, it takes the sting of the emotion of fear and anxiety away from you. When you write it down, it becomes not just an emotional thought, it becomes something tangible on paper. So when I write down my fears and fogs and saying, okay, so I'll go into the speaking thing. So in the future, in the, in the eyes, so these are my wins. This is the win I'm working, and this is over the next 30 days. I'm doing it with you. So my win that I'm going for is I want to build a system where I could learn how to get on stages to speak my message to the world. I believe in a win-win-win situation. We always hear win-win. It's a win-win-win. My win-win-win is it, it benefits you, it benefits me, and it benefits the world. So it's a win-win-win situation. So I want to be able to get on stages to get my message or the hero message out to the world to benefit you, to benefit myself. But then I also want to be able to develop not only the ability to get on there because there's a whole, like I need a, I need a booking agent. I need to get the contacts. How do I, how do I build a list of three, 400 stages and companies to contact, to ask them to speak? What's the process of that, right? So see all the fogs. Ah, 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 right? A lot of work. It, 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 see, it seems too much. It's overwhelming. And then I need to develop programs so when I do speak on a stage and I do deliver a message and someone goes, I would like to learn more or I want more, what's that look like? Is that a book? Is that an internet program? Is that a, is that a daily, like a, a five minute fuel versus a 15 minute fuel that you get in your email box? Is it the little mini programs like you saw on the one month to win? You know, what are those programs that have to develop? Okay, well, I got to develop those. Okay, so who's the tech person? Who's going to build it? I don't know. I don't know. So see, there's the fears and the fogs, but the vision is there. And then how do we then scale it, right? So how do we get it to where I, you know, I could continue that relationship a year after I spoke to you on a stage and maybe you're, you're in one of my courses or maybe it, it brings you to doing a mastermind somewhere here where we, we personally meet and coach, whatever that is. So, so you see all these things. So there's the vision. And then you heard all the fogs, all the fears, all the, well, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do this. So then what you do is the subject today is you find thought leaders. So when I write down those fears and those fogs, then I find the people who those things that I'm scared of and those things that I don't understand, I find people that those things are the thing they live for. Like they are 100% they are experts in that one area. So now, if I could find the experts in those areas, those fogs are no longer fogs because I ask for help and, some, and to that person, what is scary for me, what is unclear to me, is they could do it in their sleep, right? I mean, how awesome is that? Like, you're going to find someone because we all have our unique gifts and talents, right? We all have our superpowers. So I find other people with superpowers in the areas of my weaknesses and the areas of my fears and the areas that I'm, I'm anxious because I don't understand. But with those people and their superpowers combined, now the vision can now be pushed out. Now I, I'll know exactly. I'm meeting, you know, June 22nd. I'm meeting with someone for a full day that we're going to go. They know exactly how to do the things I'm talking about. And then, you know, in July, we're going to meet again, you know, for another two days with another group that's going to tell us how to, you know, build these other things to get that whole back end and programs building. So, when you get those thought leaders in place, the fogs go away, and then when the fogs are gone, you don't have fear because you know you have experts helping you to go there so you can hang on to that vision, and now you have a team moving you forward. So you could take it to the level I've taken it because this is my life, and I'm willing to go all in. I'm 100% committed. I take 100% responsibility, so that means I am betting and I'm investing in myself because I... I have the confidence and I believe that this, this message I have for win-win-win is worth everything. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna give it to anybody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back to myself to be able to make this happen. It's, it's, a, it's a win-win-win. But you, 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 have to, you can hire somebody in the fears and the fogs, or there's other things you could do. We talked about YouTube University. 
Go on YouTube. If there's something you don't know how to do, YouTube has it. Type it in. Boom, there it is. Talk to a friend or someone that you know that actually is an expert in their area or, or knows, a, they don't even have to be an expert. You could be here and they could be here. They could be a, a week ahead of you or a chapter ahead and they, are, they could help you move forward. So find a mentor, find a thought leader. A thought leader could be on YouTube, right? Find someone online, buy an online program in the area that you have fear or fogs in. Um, hire someone that you have fears and fogs in and then you could even get books, right? There's books out there. You could get a book for nothing and learn it. So this is where self-education or teaming up with a thought leader or another person with superpower will get to that vision forward. So whatever that is. So if it is nutrition and you want to be like, well, I want to, I want to start eating ketogenically or whatever, go on YouTube, find someone who, you know, you could tell by the number of views and the number of likes, this looks like a good popular video, and I'll watch it and self-educate yourself on how to do it. Great. Then if they wrote a book, right? They wrote a book on the ketogenic diet, get the ketogenic diet book. And then self-educate yourself, right? So their fears and the fogs go away. If it's in anything in your life, you could there's there's someone who's an expert or they're doing it, they're doing it just a, a little bit better than you are, and you could learn from that person. So learn from their mistakes learn from their passion or, or their, their pride in what they do. And then from that wisdom and knowledge, then there's no more fear, there's no more fog. So anything that you're, you're afraid of, right? Fear keeps you from moving forward. Un uh, uncertainty, unclarity keeps you from moving forward. But now when you know there's thought leaders, right? So I have a whole group of thought leaders and you probably you know most of them. I, I'll tell them this guy, Garrett Gunderson, he helps me with finances. He's my thought leader. So I don't make decisions out of scarcity because we get, you know, when emotions get involved, you can make bad decisions. Boom. He's right there for me. You know, um, Dr. Jim Tempo, he helped me develop that, the, the hero, uh, you know, the whole kind of concept of that. Roberto Monaco helped me develop how do you, you know, we got together and, and built the keynote of that. Um, Pete Vargas, he's a guy who helps us get on stages and builds it back and Battleborn Media, you know what they do, they do the videos and they, you know, Tim right now he's working on, you know, he, you, when you see the one, uh, the, uh, when you look at IamHero.com, Tim built that. So you see, you have a whole entire team of people around you that the things that you're scared in, you find the people that are really good in it and they could take you further down the road. So it always has to be a team effort. But if, but if you're going to use the excuse, you're sitting there saying, well, Dr. Z, I don't have any money, I don't have two pennies to rub. Well, the fact that you're watching this on your phone, all right, <laughs> and, you know, and clearly you're surfing Facebook, um, you could find time to go on YouTube or get a book, go to the library and self-educate yourself. Remember, the only thing money can help you with is money could shorten the time, right? It could shorten the time, meaning that I could go to someone that knows it and I could learn quicker or I could learn it myself. So if, if, if the money's not there the way you want it to be, if, if you don't want to invest in yourself to a certain level, then you have the time to then learn and develop. So either way, you're moving forward. So, so there's really no excuse. Time, money, it, it's, it's all there. It depends how much you want to be able to invest and be able to go on that. I'm sorry, this, this uh, light's getting bright. Uh, so that's what you want to do. So find the thought leaders. That could be YouTube. That could be a book. Go online. Get a program. Talk to someone that you know that, that is that is doing better in that area than you are, and they will take you through. So thought leaders are huge. So when you have these thought leaders, their wisdom, insight, understanding, guidance, it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a table of leaders or a group of leaders in areas that might be a weakness in your area or just you need clarity on, and they'll help you. They're the team that rises you up and above those areas that are sick of you from growing. And this is why there's nothing, when you get that concept, there's nothing, there's nothing that you have envisioned that can't be done when you have the right group of thought leaders in your life. So, day number three, start to get thought leaders in your life in the forms of real people, coaches, mentors, masterminds is also another way. We have a group of people, you come together and come up with better ideas. Go to YouTube University, and people ask me, where do you get YouTube University? It's my, it's YouTube, you know, I just call it a university because university, I believe, should be, I have an interest in a subject and I want to learn more about that subject because I want to. So YouTube, you could type in what you want to learn, boom, you can see exactly what you want to learn and you could be there for eight hours to ten hours learning it uh, for yourself to make you a better person, to develop your skills. And then books. You have amazing books. There's books written on all this stuff out there. And, if you're, and here's the third thing. If you're thinking, well, how do I know I watched the right video? Or how do I know I'm listening to the right person? Or how do I know I, re I got the right book? Remember, you're a potentialist, not a perfectionist. 
you're becoming a perfectionist if you're waiting for the, the perfect person. No one's the perfect person. All the qualification of the book, the video, or the person is they got to just be doing it just a little bit better than you. A little bit. Like I said, if, if, I, if we're reading a book and I'm two chapters ahead, I'm the expert in, in the conversation, right? Because I'm just two chapters ahead. So just find someone that's a little bit ahead and they'll pull you forward because even a little bit ahead, you'll save you time, money, and pain. So make sure I write down a list now. What is your goal? Whatever that goal is, the thing you want to win in. Now I want you to write down the list of what's holding you back or what held you back from the past. How come you didn't do this before? Well, I'm afraid of this or I don't know how to do that. Write that down. Now the fears and the fogs you have say who or what knows that area better than I do and now I'm going to get their advice, I'm going to read their book, I'm going to watch their video and therefore there's no more fear, there's no more fogs, there's only winning. All right, so go out there and win today. Thank you so much again. This was an amazing one. Please share it. Uh, share it, get it out there. Uh, make sure you join our social media, our Instagram. I think we'll do Instagram this week, right? So we'll, this week we're going to focus on Instagram. We're going to be doing some really good stuff. Make sure we get good stuff I'm telling them. So we're going to do a lot of good stuff on Instagram. So make sure you go to Instagram and go to Dr. Zaino, D-R-Z-A-I-N-O. Make sure we have cool stories, amazing posts there. So I'll focus on Instagram. So if you're not there, make sure you get on Instagram and we'll appreciate this. Go to IamHero.com so you get your one month to win. And thank you so much for following us. Tomorrow will be day four. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow with 15-Minute uh, Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.